Welcome to DIY for Homeowners by Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're going to show you how we made these cute little trees with a very special material. They're paint sticks. We're using the small ones, we're using the five gallon ones, and we're using a wood dowel. And this is actually a collaboration we're doing with a friend we met over the summer at a DIY conference. Her name is Christina and she makes great videos here on YouTube at Pretty Distressed. We asked Christina to find us a project to do that we could we could build it and then she could finish it and she found a Christmas tree that on Pottery Barn's website that's been discontinued and this is our interpretation of that Christmas tree. So after this video we're literally getting these in a shipping box and we're shipping them to her and we have no idea what she's going to do but we know it's going to be awesome. We can't wait to see it. And there'll be a link to that pro the part two of this video in the link below. And we want to thank the Home Depot for sponsoring this video. And as always all the materials we use will be linked in the description below so check that out. Let's get started. You'll need two packages of large five gallon paint sticks. These are available at the Home Depot in packages of three for under a dollar. We're making all the cuts on the miter saw, which is set at 60 degrees to make all the top angles. Then adjust the miter saw to 31.6 degrees to cut the pieces to the various lengths needed. We did the same with the wood dowels. Next, mom glued the top of the wood dowels together. You can see we're using instruction hot glue that is a stronger bond than regular hot glue. Then mom glued the paint sticks together. She tried scraping off the excess glue as she worked. She got everything in place and then glued those pieces together. The glue really worked well because it dries quickly. Mom left some excess at the bottom that she cut off on the miter saw. And look, she's so proud of herself. It was at this point that we realized there was a little too much excess glue on the back and tried to remove it. We tried removing it the best we could as it will be a challenge to finish this part of the tree. Sorry, Christina. To make the base, we were using a one inch wood dowel and some nuts and bolts. We found the same size drill bit and drilled into one dowel first. Then we lined up all three base pieces and drilled all the way through. Mom glued the back support to the tree and then attached the base. And here it is. For the second tree, mom followed the same process, but just used regular paint sticks, which you can buy in packages of 10 for under a dollar. And because it was a challenge removing the hot glue, she used wood glue and just waited for it to dry this time. Well, we learned. I learned a whole lot about cutting angles. I'm fairly new to using a miter saw on my own, and I had a little trouble getting the angles correct and figuring out where they need to go. So I kept this little piece by my miter saw so I could be sure that I was laying the board out correctly, otherwise I would get the cuts in the wrong place. One thing we noticed about the base is we basically sandwiched these two dowels together with a paint stick in the middle. And what we noticed is they got a little off on both of them. So what I would probably recommend is making the paint stick in the middle a little bit shorter so that doesn't become an issue and it doesn't stick out. And because I had so much difficulty originally making those angle cuts, buy more materials than you need because you may end up needing them. The whole time we were making these, we realized we needed to mail them because we knew we were going to be sending them to Christina. So we always made, kept that in mind. And that's why we made the base removable. So we used just a nut and bolt so that we can take these two parts off and then we can lay it flat and easily put it in a shipping box. But that also may, means that it's great for when you're packing up your Christmas decorations, you can easily store these. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and be sure to check out Christina's video. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye. If you like this project, we have some more holiday projects for you. Right here, you can see how we made an alternative Christmas tree using green bottles. And right here, you can see an A-frame Christmas tree that Steph's using it in her house. I just set it up just last week. It's, it's still awesome. pretty cool. Yeah, yes. it's my favorite. 